Hey guys, I just finished sewing up this halter top from Salme Sewing Patterns and I love it so much that I wanted to share a quick review with you guys today about my finished product. I um, was playing around on my favorite website for, um, for inspiration, which is Anthropology. I was seeing halter tops everywhere. So I was like, well, halter top. I've never made a halter top. I don't even own any halter tops. So I googled sewing pattern, halter top sewing patterns, and found this one by Salme Sewing Patterns, which I've actually never sewn any patterns of hers before. And I'm really super impressed with her pattern and her directions. So a little bit about this particular halter top. It is um, keyhole front and back. Obviously, I left the keyhole out of the front, just a design preference of my own. I think I would add it in another make. I do think it's cute. So um, here is how the keyhole is in the back. And the, um, the neckline is finished with bias tape, which ties in the back. And you've got your cute little keyhole here. I just really like the detail of the ties and the keyhole there. The top is lined, which makes for a really clean finish along the armholes and then the bias tape neckline also gives you a really professional finish up there as well. And um, Salme's pattern uh, directions were fabulous. I am so impressed with her directions. So some of the things I really that really stood out to me were um, she has you interface the keyhole in the front and back, which I did notice the tape tops um, that I shared about in my May favorites, they do tend to pucker a little bit in the back. So adding that interfacing really provides a little extra stability for the keyhole to keep it laying really, really nice. She also includes a, bias, a strip of the bias tape pattern piece, which you don't always see in patterns. They'll just tell you to cut a piece this wide and this long. So I really appreciate when a pattern includes it because it helps me lay out all my pattern pieces and figure out if I even have enough fabric to make the pattern. And she also, the, um, the bias tape, she instructs you to cut three and she shows you how to sew them together. So you can't just connect a straight strip. You have to do it on an angle. She gives you a bright little picture on how to do that and talks you through that. So that was very helpful as well. She also has you, um, when you attach the lining, she has you understitch, which is very important to keep that lining laying really nice. And then when you attach the bias um, for the neckline, I kind of thought, you know, I just see, you know, match the front, figure out what you, where you need it to be for yourself in the back. But she actually gives you the exact measurements you need for each size. So I remember for mine, she said measure you know, five and a half inches down the bias tape and that's where you connect it in the back. So I just appreciated that little extra step she added in there to go and tell you your specific measurements. And then she also includes check for fit, something you might not think about if you were a beginner. You just go by what they tell you to do and then it's too big or it's too small. So I like how she threw in how, make sure you check to, for it to fit you. So I really appreciated that. I found her directions just to be really, really great, really helpful for a beginner to sew. Since I chose a crochet lace for my halter top, I did make a couple modifications to make my halter top a little more professional looking. So I do want to share those with you. You would make these modifications if you used any type of lace, the crochet lace, um, a really sheer fabric, a fabric with eyelet. So um, what I did was specifically the lining. So I attached the right side of my outer fabric to the wrong side of the lining. So that when you flip it in, you are now seeing the pretty um, finished seams on the outside. So you won't see that serge seam peeking through, um, through the crochet lace. But when you look inside, of course, you're seeing the serge seam, but that's fine. Uh, the other thing you need to be careful, since I chose a scallop, I did want to add a little bit into the hem, so I can't remember what her hem allowance is, but I just brought my pattern down a little bit to make sure the top was long enough because I'm treating that as my finished hem, the bottom of the scallop. Something else, I wanted, to inc I wanted you to be able to see a little bit of this lace at the bottom. So I shortened my lining quite a bit, I think about an inch or two. But this was easily done afterwards since the lining is completely separate of the outer shell fabric. So you can easily try it on, figure out where you want your lining to hit. 
there. And um, I really like how you can see a little bit more of that lace. It pops out a little bit better. So that's all you really need to do to change it for um, some more see-through fabrics. But I do also think that this is a really great pattern to use some of those trickier fabrics on. Because minus, oh, that made me think of one other thing I changed. This pattern has a dart. I took the dart out because I didn't want you to see that fabric through um, the holes in my crochet lace. So what I did um, to check to make sure that would be okay was I sewed up um, the lining without the dart, put it on, check for fit. I'm smaller busted, so for me it's not a big deal. So you might wanna check for yourself to make sure if that still looks good on your body without that dart. So I did take out the dart there. Um, and really, if you have any kind of really super sheer fabric, that dart looks really silly through that fabric. So something else to think about. But what I, where I was going with that is there's not a lot to this pattern um, if you're wanting to choose one of those trickier fabrics to sew with. So the lining makes it really easy to sew. You're not have, having to attach bias tape finishing. A tricky silk lining is much easier. The bias tape attaches really nicely for a clean finish on the neckline. Um, just the two side seams, um, and then if you include the dart or not, it really makes for an easier sew with a trickier fabric. So, loving my new halter top. I've already printed out another salmi pattern. I picked the gathered tank. So I'm gonna sew that next. Definitely gotta make some more halter tops. I also saw on Anthropology they had I looked identical to this, lengthened into a dress and then saw another one where they added a gathered skirt to a halter top. So I'm going to play around with it, maybe make some dresses too. So I hope that you love my new halter top and found some inspiration for yourself to make one. Um, if you did, give this video a thumbs up and of course follow us um, here on our channel to get any up new uploads we have and on all our other social media accounts. So see you later guys. Bye.